I got hired as a gymnastics coach. Okay. Um, so I, I got really into it and I actually quit university where I was uh, studying anthropology because I found that I just really loved coaching. Coaching was really, really rewarding to me. And I saw that as my path forward in the world. And um, so I'd absorbed a lot of sort of pedagogy from gymnastics by the time that I came over into parkour. Um, and what's fascinating about parkour is, it, you know, in a lot of ways, it's quite similar to gymnastics. Like, there, you know, it's basically moving your body around on obstacles. And, you know, you can think of the, the the balance beam and the vault bar, the vault, the yeah. vault, you know, the rings, the parallel mm -hmm. bars, the uneven bars, the uh, the high bar, they're all just like species of, of obstacles. Um, and, and then, you know, the acrobatic portion of parkour is obviously, you know, there's a lot of common ground, like back flips, yeah. back flip, front flips, a front flip, front hand springs, front hand spring, you know, double back double front right mm -hmm. there there there's a lot of common language mm -hmm. i was also interested in track and field so i i didn't ever really compete in track and field but i paid attention to it and i you know i, I read up on track stuff and so so i kind of had a sense of how parkour athletes compared to these other two sports that are very that share a lot of common ground mm -hmm. and what i noticed over time was that you know, we were clearly just not nearly on the same level as park, uh, gymnastics when, you know, when I started in 2005 and we were all just super amateurish, right? But in regards to skill level or in regards to skill level. Okay. Yeah. But by the time we had built the gym and, you know, around the time that I was exiting the gym, like some of the best parkour athletes were now really starting to push skills that were uh, comparable to the best uh best gymnast. So one of the athletes that I trained, his name's Nate Weston. He was one of the first one or two guys to do a triple backflip off of a bar outside. Wow. So a triple backflip, I believe is rated D in the, uh, in the men's, uh, code of points in, in gymnastics, which is the second highest rated skill, okay. but there's almost no athletes who compete E level dismounts in, um, in gymnastics so this is basically like comparable to the highest level of gymnastics um now nate was a very good gymnast at one point he he was uh he was like you know a level nine which is a very high level mm -hmm. gymnast for a for a for an 11 year old or 12 year old at the time i can't remember how old he was but so he did have some gymnastics background but uh, i had other athletes who i who i knew like this kid jared nahulu who um just came completely from parkour and a, a couple of years later, I think around 2016, I think he was the first person I knew of to do a double twisting, double back flip um, off of a bar. And that was, uh, you know, this is not a gymnastics bar. It's it's a hard metal bar, right? Right on a, in a, in a bar setup that's not set up just like a high bar. Yeah. And um, and he did it on t and landed on three quarter inch rubber matting over concrete. So, I mean, this is, that's a D skill mm -hmm. being competed in parkour and circumstances that are much more challenging than yeah. much than different in, environment. Yeah. Then, then you're seeing in gymnastics. Um, so, so you see that, you know, now the, the best acrobatic specialists in parkour, they can flip as many times in the air. They can spin as many times in the air broadly as gymnast can or at least mm -hmm. very comparable you know 90 percent mm -hmm. um which is pretty astonishing and at the same time if you look at like pure jumping power um interestingly parkour athletes are not particularly fast like as far as uh, running speed mm -hmm. i think mostly because we just never approach max velocity in our training you rarely do run-ups that are more than like mm, seven steps Okay. So, you know, we're running from maybe at most 10 yards away, mm -hmm. right? Whereas like a, a, a world-class long jumper is running from 60 yards, mm -hmm. um, 60 meters. And so I don't think there's a lot of parkour athletes who are, who are pushing down into like, you know, sub 11 second, 100 meter times, uh, even sub 12 mm -hmm. second, 100 meter times. Um, so what's the, probably, what's the differentiation then like with the top at like what's the is there a specific skill that it seems like parkour takes more than 
like something you said yeah. like it's not like ultimately fast but is it more like balance like dexterity yeah i mean it's coordination it's it's a lot of different things right upper body pulling power is really important in parkour um you know parkour athletes often can go over and and do really crazy dinos 